Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Wednesday, February 12th, about a little after 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's my day off. I think it's my day off. I haven't gotten a phone call saying, Charlie, where are you? You're supposed to be in at 9 o'clock. You're supposed to be in at 1 o'clock. Uh, no, it's my day off, so I actually had to come down here to uh, uh, down the Gold Line Station, and uh, I got two more days to make it through the payday so I had to go put three bucks on my tab card and uh, I came down here with uh, my red with my red to come down here and actually shoot you know I've been thinking about trying to uh, make some sort of opening banner or some sort of opening uh, uh, play for my channel so uh, I, I'm just toying around and actually I am here at the uh, Pacific Asian Museum. I know it's kind of backwards. I know I'll put the link down before. This place is beautiful. You know, I, I pass by this a lot. And uh, I like this. It's got a beautiful little garden area. And it's just really, really awesome. Where's the back for you? I'll come back for you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take you home. Say hi to Tyrone for me. Okay. Say the court. Say the court. Say the court. Say the court. I don't like to talk to you in places like this, especially when I find a nice little quiet, serene place like this. I don't really like to talk over. I just, I like just, you know, enjoying the ambiance, you know, and the serenity and the peace and everything. Um, they have an exhibit here. It's, it's a really interesting exhibit. And I actually first saw it this morning when I was watching the news because of Miss Gail King over here with Channel 5, um, uh, my news station. So, and I figured, well, I got to come down here I had to come to the Gold Line Station and possibly shoot some B film footage. And uh, yeah, Gail Anderson right there. It's so cool. Yeah. And now I'm going to see about going to another little alcove over here. I'm trying to take advantage and enjoy this beautiful weather today that we have, really. 
it was a little bit um a little bit cool this morning even though it was really bright and sunny but it's it's warming up quickly and uh i would like to say the rain then the winter is all past us but uh yeah <laughs> anything could happen out here uh, especially definitely uh up in the foothills altadino la canada flat ridge uh, it, get, it does get a lot colder there but the nights are pretty cold here oh yeah not so much as for me but for the homeless out here oh they're doing oh they took down the the college there was a right over there there was a college a northern college of nursing i think uh they tore it down i believe they're going to put some apartment some more apartments now we're supposed to be get, getting like two more uh low-income housing projects here this year to start i'm not sure i know one of them is over by my house which is uh HUD fund, HUD funded also, and it's also it's not just they're not rentals. What they are, they're uh, low income uh, buy to own or rent to own or however HUD does it. So it's for families to uh, given the opportunity uh, financial fee the criteria to be able to buy their first home through, through the program. They already opened up a couple one one down the street from me, and they're going to open up another one just like across from my block. Which is cool, and I looked at the requirements. I think a family of a family of three has to make something like less than sixty thousand to qualify. Which is like wow, <clears throat> can't even can't, couldn't even really imagine what the uh, mortgage must be like on sixty thousand. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of not really quoting it, but uh, that's more or less along the lines that I saw. Uh, this is. This is another one of my kind of serene. This is really, really close to where I was homeless. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, Lucky Boys Burgers is right across the way. But I would come down here uh, before I take off to go to go buy something and stuff like that. And this campus is really cool. Uh, it's a theological university. Wow, they took, oh my goodness. I had no idea they did that. I am really shocked. There was here a very, very, very beautiful <sighs> statue of, uh, that doesn't make sound kind of horrible, but it was a beautiful, beautiful, like bronze like statue of uh, Jesus Christ being, um, being nailed to. Uh, to the cross and it was just a, a beautiful representation of uh, the agony you can see the agony you can see kind of like the angst on the the two men that were it's uh, it, oh it was a wow i can't believe it's gone but, you know fuller was supposed to have left about a couple of years ago i believe the property was kind of in the process of being sold and um they were supposed to go to uh, to Pomona, and I guess they decided to stay. But I, I was always wondering in the back of my mind what was going to become of this statue because this was part of uh, Fuller Seminary. And, uh, you know, it's it's a theological university, theology university. And there is a there's a prayer garden. It's really really pretty. In there. I've been in there several times. I've only been there once to uh, photograph. I wonder if they moved it into the garden. It was a beautiful. I think I have some pictures um, of it somewhere in my timeline, and I will have to dig it out and uh, show you. For it was just a beautiful piece of art. I I always liked it. I always found it very moving. You know, only three people were involved, Jesus Christ and the and two men that were nailing him to the cross. And uh, you can't even imagine what we're going through the minds of all three individuals. 
And that's not even to say you can't really say good or bad about the depiction of the two men that are actually, there's one that has, uh, Christ has his hand on the palm flat, and I think the one man is holding the spike onto his palm, and while his right arm, right arm is raised to strike down with this huge hammer, it, it's just, it, it was powerful. I haven't seen a really, really powerful piece of religious art like that in quite a while. I'm sad. I, I really wanted to share that with you folks. I got it. All right. Wait. Tell me to wait. Do you hear that? Oh, it's really bright. Oh, I cannot stand the brightness. All right. In the shade for a bit, and out comes oh the blinding light. All right. This is uh, Pasadena Methodist Church. This is a really, really cool uh, church. Another one that has a beautiful Gothic architecture. And uh, it is spectacular. It is beautiful. It's got huge hangs uh, in both chambers of, uh, of just actually just all around. It's just really beautiful. And for those of you, uh, here's a little bit. This church well, has many times, but I think the one that's most famous for us locals that have spotted this countless and countless of times is this church was in the first Transformers movie, where um, where he's I think he's in Bumblebee and he's racing down a corridor, a very very long corridor, which is the same just multiply shot. And it's this corridor right here where you see him going down. And if you look, I think, to one side, you'll see that. That is the building. This is the street where they film. And it's just one shot, continuous, over again. One shot, another, another shot, another shot, and compiled to make it look like it's going by this long, long, huge building, the corridor of a gothic like or medieval type of uh, thing. It's really cool, you know. Uh, Hollywood has its tricks, and their famous tricks is we can do whatever whatever we want the camera to see. And when you see through the camera, it's just, it's anything. The human eye, they can, you can see it, but through the camera, you can see it twice and see it through once through the camera, and you see it in real life, and it's like, wow, how, how easily we are fooled. It's a spectacular. And here, um, also, a little FYI, if you're in, in Pasadena, if you're homeless, here, uh, Wednesday, not Tuesday mornings, I believe Tuesday mornings, yes, Tuesday mornings at uh, 10 o'clock, they give uh, food to homeless and the needy. Uh, they have two programs, one for housed low income and one for homeless, and you sign up there, and you get if you're low income and housed, uh, you get a different uh, bag of food versus homeless. And then if you're homeless, they'll ask you, uh, they'll ask you, do you have a can opener? And if you don't have a can opener, they can offer you uh, a, uh, what do you call it, oh, cans with pop tops. Or sometimes if they have, and they're always in short supplies, I would love to be able to go to the 99 cent store and uh, buy a case of can opener so they can give it to, to the homeless. Because, you know, when you're homeless, you're only, you only have a choice, but basically pop tops are non-pop tops, and pop tops are so much easier. It's one less heavy item that you have to carry, but it's not always that way. Sometimes you do have to carry a can opener for other things, and that's just good, but pop tops are a lot, a lot easier and make life a lot, lot better. Yeah. There's a lot of good, and actually down the street right behind me is the Presbyterian Church. Uh, the schedule, the feeding there has changed. I'm not all exactly sure what the schedule is, but I know their feeding uh, schedules have changed. It used to be Sundays and Wednesdays, and they keep changing it because uh, 
on Sundays there was some interference uh, with, the, with the homeless feeding and the services that they provide on Sundays. So uh, it's, it's changed. And I know or knew the lady that used to run that, uh, Lily. Great lady, great lady. Cooked a lot of the meals in the beginning by herself with a few small crew. I'd always over, uh, see her at Smart and Final with her card buying all the food for the homeless and everything that she needs to do for the, for the church and everything. Uh, just, just a great spirit, you know, just a great people. I met so many wonderful people. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a bitter person. I used to be. I used to be a very bitter person. I used to hold a grudge. In fact, my thing when I was younger, I, I used to say, I'm like an elephant. I never forget. So don't cross me. Big talk, right? And I would, and I, I, I'd never forget, and I'd hold on to that rage. And that's why I don't like really getting angry that much, because I've known it just anger, stress, and rage just makes you sick. It really slows you down. And, and you know, when you, when you de-stress and whatever problem that you saw, you had and you saw them, and you're just like, whew, God, what a relief. Well, I was telling you, you shouldn't have gotten that upset. That, that's hurting you. That, see that big relief? All that stress is, I don't know, probably equal to. I can equate to is when I used to work in printing, lifting 2,000 pounds of rolls of paper with a fulcrum. That's how stressful stress is. And it's just like, I remember lifting that roll onto the dolly and pushing it out. It's just like, phew. That's the way it is. But anyway, a great church. Wow. All our churches here in Pasadena, of any de denomination, uh, large or small, here in Pasadena, uh, is definitely for you, for you photographers or videographers. This is a great, great, great place. I mean, look at the map, look at the Google, go to the Chamber of Commerce, ask for uh, information of local religious groups or what they have a list on. I'm sure they'll want to do from, from down over yonder all the way to the east side of Pasadena. Uh, also, the Church of Nazarene is huge. It's more modern, but architecturally, it's spectacular. Uh, same thing with Presbyterian. It's more modern. And then we have another Methodist church down over in Colorado on the left. Smaller, but kind of a mixture of Gothic medieval structure with uh, huge, huge stones. Totally that's awesome. Yeah. I know. I love architecture. Right? said it many a times. I love architecture. My eye doctor got my eye examination, so hopefully I could afford a new pair of glasses this year. I need them quick, but I'm, uh, I gotta I gotta catch up on rent, and I gotta I'm so behind rent. It's not even funny. It's making me ill, but uh, I gotta catch up on that. And, so many other things, so many things, but it is uh, better than being homeless and sleeping out on the concrete, so I count my blessings for that. I always, even stress, you know, I'll just look at this as I'm walking, I'm looking at the sidewalk and I'm thinking, yeah, that's, that's my bed right there, anytime. All right, my friends, well, I'm going to end it here. I am going to go get a loaf of bread, go home, upload this, and uh, see what kind of shots I took with uh, this poor camera. My poor camera, is, it's, it's in worse shape than I am. It's, I think it needs a hit of my asthma spray or something. She can't even focus anymore. I, I tried the other night with uh, the full moon or the winter moon when I got home from work. And uh, the sensor must be, must be gone because it, it can't focus on a, on a light fixture anymore, on a, on a point of light. It takes all the light in consideration and it's one big blur. And I used to be able to take, I used to be able to take really good shots of the moons. I mean, you could really see definition. Um, 
craters actually and this was only a 38 power so they're still pretty good but uh I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to hold on to it and keep it as a constant reminder of how I started. And besides, I, <clears throat> I love this red camera too much. Cinema Valley. All right, friends. I'm going to end it here and uh, head back. So you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other. Help one another. Help one another. Just open a door, say hi, or just be kind. All right. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on the rocks. Make sure you're right. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And that's my day out. Now it's starting to warm up. Alright, here's my Starbucks. I try to come back. I haven't asked, but I wonder if my, my friend B stayed with her. She's such a nice lady. She, uh, she helped me a lot. Oh, I was homeless. Oh, holy cow, it smokes. They did it, it's open. I know, we're gonna, this is going to be really, really dumb. The, uh, the Spectrum store opened, finally. Okay. Now I can go and check and see. Yeah, but it's not set up. That everything else, but we're still in the process of setting up. <sighs> Got to put an application in here or something. Okay. They've been doing this since Criminy, November? Uh, it's been in the works since November, I believe. Because I usually have to go to, uh, to East Pasadena to Hastings Ranch. So, uh, uh oh, hold on. All right, I had to get through. I didn't want to get a copyright strike again. Their silly AI is just a little too much. And sometimes it's. <sighs> I don't know, it's way, way into it. Holy cow. Oh, there's something going on over here. Hold on. I don't know what they're doing. There's some sort of convention. It's called Spray Foam Snow 2020. Convention on spray foam? <laughs> yeah, I just heard of these two gentlemen over here. Oh, the spray foam is great. You just stick to anything. I guess it's spray, spray foam. I don't know what kind. Construction, industrial, commercial, uh, children's amusement. It's spray foam fest 2020. You know, California. I'll find out and I'll, I'll put a link down below. No, ambient music! I'm trying to be such a good boy with the ambient music. The doggone strikes. Here is the Rose nightclub. This uh, this used to be Gelson's supermarket. This this was the anchor store of uh, the Paseo, Colorado here. This whole way down in there, down below, and that entrance over there was a... Uh, Gelson's supermarket, really nice supermarket, and uh, they were the whole premise of opening this all up, and you could have groceries and convenience and the whole night. And well, they Gelson's <laughs> couldn't afford the rent here anymore, so the flagship store up and left. And then a few years later, we got we got the Rose. But this place is really cool. We have um, I will put the link down below. But we, the venues here are just like fantastic. Uh, old performer, new performers. I mean, it's just fantastic. It's really cool. And uh, once in a while, actually, I get a, I'll get a free ticket, but I have yet to actually come and have the pleasure of enjoying the club. But, yeah, this this venue is really, really awesome. Definitely worthwhile to check it out when you come here. And another, let me see if he's he's working today. Let's see if he's. Does it work? No. Oh. 
Oh crap. Oh snap. Flippy's gone. There's Flippy. You folks remember Flippy the robot? Cali Burgers is closed. Holy moly. Wow. Oh. Wow, that kind of that kind of sucks. Oh, another Starbucks. Wow, that. Oh well, you know what? There you go. Here's the information right here. Backwards, but it's the information. All right, again, friends. You take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. All right, that's it. Links is down below. Comments down below. And I will see you tomorrow. I love you all. Have a great day.